U.S. senator struck a deal to lift a three-day government shutdown and try to end a fight between Democrats and Republicans over immigration and border security issues. By a 206 to 150 vote, the Republican-led House quickly followed the Senate and approved the bill. Now, this includes a six-year extension of the Children's Health Insurance Program, CHIP, but not the protection for the Dreamer immigrants sought by the Democrats or DACA. The funding measure will now go to President Donald Trump, who said that he will sign this into law, ending the government shutdown. The legislation to renew the federal funding to the government cleared a procedural hurdle in the Senate, allowing the government to reopen until February the 8th. Senate Democrat leader Chuck Schumer said he had come to an agreement with the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell to keep the government open for the next few weeks. This after the Republican promised to let a bill on immigration reach the Senate floor. Madam President, after three days of an unnecessary lapse in funding, a bipartisan majority has brought the Democratic leader's extraordinary filibuster to an end and passed a bipartisan bill to reopen the federal government. As I've said repeatedly over the past week, shutting down the government is an irresponsible way to do business. It does not reflect the seriousness with which I know uh, my colleagues on both sides would like to approach the people's business here in the Senate. All our important work for the American people had to be put on hold while this manufactured crisis uh, was dealt with. We made no substantive progress, not one inch, on the serious bipartisan negotiations that will take to solve issues such as immigration and border security, health care, defense spending, and many other matters. Discussions, offers, counter offers, the Republican leader and I have come to an arrangement. We will vote today to reopen the government to continue no negotiating a global agreement with the commitment that if an agreement isn't reached by February the 8th, the Senate will immediately proceed to consideration of legislation dealing with DACA. The process will be neutral and fair to all sides. Well, meanwhile, the White House said that President Donald Trump will make a deal on immigration only if he sees it as beneficial for the United States. A statement here from the President of the United States that I will read. Quote, I am pleased that Democrats in Congress have come to their senses and are now willing to fund our great military, border patrol, first responders, and insurance for vulnerable children. As I've always said, once the government is funded, my administration will work towards solving the problem of very unfair illegal immigration. We will make a long-term deal on immigration if and only if it's good for our country. The U.S. Vice President welcomed news that U.S. Senators have voted to move forward on funding legislation that would reopen federal government. He also blamed the Democrats for the shutdown, saying they had failed. Down failed. Now that the government is reopening, Congress can get back to work advancing the President's agenda. An agenda that's already created more than two million jobs, is setting records on the American stock market, has restored American strength and credibility in the world. Well, the shutdown began on the first anniversary of Trump's inauguration as president as tens of thousands of federal workers started to close down operations on Monday. Well, the first weekday since the shutdown started, but essential services such as security and defense operations still continued. Pentagon officials say more than half the Defense Department's civilian workers will be granted leave without pay or furloughs. And research centers, the National Zoo, did remain open on Monday using some of the existing funds. Yeah, even just walking around today, I noticed there's a, a bunch of staffers outside the entrance who can't figure out if it's going to be open or not. The Library of Congress has a sign that they're totally shut down and staff don't have access to anything. So, I mean, it does appear that the government is truly not functioning. It's unfortunate. It's unnecessary. But uh, I think the Senate should get their act together, particularly the Democrats, and fund the government. And then we can move on to the other issues that are hanging there. There are issues to deal with, but uh, holding everyone hostage is not the way to do it.
Well, during the shutdowns, non-essential government employees are furloughed. Now, this means they are placed on temporary unpaid leave. Well, those deemed essential workers, including those in public safety and national security, will still keep working. The last shutdown took place October of 2013. It lasted more than two weeks, and more than 800,000 federal employees were furloughed at that time.